Hello and welcome back to another episode of Tarot Celebrity with your boy Ducky. I hope everyone is having a great morning, afternoon, evening, or good night, whatever time of day you're seeing this video. I hope it's going well for you. Um, and what else was I going to say? Um, I just paused my, my uh, little America's Got Talent episode that I was watching in order to record this because later on today I probably won't have time to record this video because um, I'm going to be helping one of my friends uh, train at the gym. So I figured, you know what, let's make this video right now. So today we are going to be talking about Chris Evans. We're going to be reading some of Chris Evans's cards, a fellow Gemini. Shout out again to my Gemini. Shout out again to all, all 12 zodiac signs. You're all amazing. Um, and what else? What else? I guess that's all I really got to say. Um, remember that these videos are for entertainment purposes, and that is because we do not have Chris Evans here to confirm nor deny that what I'm seeing in the cards is truth, it's factual, and resonates with him or doesn't resonate with him so just remember to keep that in mind and let's get started with chris evans's reading all right so we're just gonna get a general let's get a general vibe for chris evans right now what is chris evans's current energy like we got the ace of pentacles he is shooketh baby he is shooketh his foundation is a little bit rocky Let's see. We'll get more into it. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. The Eight of Wands. Ooh, some delays. All right. And let's get an emotional healing card as well. Sometimes I draw oracle cards uh, for current energy reading. Sometimes I don't. But for this one, I feel like I will. Impatience. Yeah, we got that in reverse. So I'm going to read the negative aspect of impatience. Um, and, you know, Geminis, we are very impatient. And it makes sense with this eight of wands in reverse. Sorry if my nose sounds a little bit nasally or stuffy. Um, I've been crying. <laughs> That's what I was going to say in the beginning of the video. Uh, yeah, America's Got Talent, you know having high levels of empathy i just cry um but most of them are like good tears um you know just connecting with with the the performers and whatnot so i'm gonna look up the eight of pentacles i believe that's talking about skills um eight of pentacles learning impatience a desire for quick change or quick success at the expense of reputation and quality the loss of a job uh, hmm, interesting. So yeah, we got the Ace of Pentacles. So yeah, like, because we got two Pentacle cards, and then we got a Wands. You know, Wands represents your, your desires, your ambitions, and Pentacles is all talking about, like, the physical world, talking about physical, tangible things. Um, So I feel like, yeah, his he is shooketh right now. Chris Evans, his foundation, it seems like he was working towards something, um, and something might have happened with the eight of wands here because the eight of wands always talks about fast movement, boom, 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 zoom, zoom, you know, but in reverse, it could talk about there being some like lack of movement, some delays. So it seems like there's something that has happened with like something he was working towards, um, that maybe paused or stopped, um, and it has really kind of like shaken his his world up a little bit. It has shaken up like what he was working towards currently. Um, and with the Eight of Pentacles here um, in reverse, it does talk about, you know, desiring like some kind of quick success at the expense of like quality. So maybe like something wasn't good enough. Um, and so maybe he stopped doing it. Um, there's some like project here that I'm seeing that might have gotten stopped or delayed and it has really shaken him up. Like there's a lot of impatience here, you know, Gemini's we are 
um, air signs. We are very, we are the mutable air sign. So we, we're okay with change, but because like, we're also like, okay with change or we like change. Sometimes we can be very impatient. Um, so the negative a attribute attributes, impatience is dissatisfied with the present moment. I long to accelerate time. I turn my back on the satisfactions of the now I'm restless and ill at ease. Yeah. There's some impatience going on. I don't know if like maybe Chris Evans is wanting to work towards something quickly and then like there had to be like a stop and so that's why like he's shaken up or like this card also the eight of pentacles did say mention in the booklet that it could also talk about the loss of a job so that could be the the stop or the delay that's happened there's some kind of a delay that's going on in his life right now um that is causing some impatience some delays and let's keep on going. So that's kind of his current vibe right now. Current overall energy. Let's go into his love life. So when I like briefly Googled him um, before making this video, there's like rumors that he is dating Alba Baptista. I don't know. Um, and they have been like secretly dating. I don't know. Um, I'm not really going to tap into that. I'm just going to kind of like draw some cards in regards to his love life, how his current energy is. And that's about uh, it. Because, um, you know, here in the Ducky channel, um, I want to respect everyone's energy. And therefore, I don't want to like be spread in like gossip or anything. Um, but I do want to briefly touch up or go over his love life and his love energy. So let's see. We got the Two of Swords in reverse. We got the Two of Cups in reverse. Ooh. And we got the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Maybe that this is part of like what has shaken him up. There, I'm not really seeing that there's a lot going on in his love life. Vulnerability came out in reverse. So negative aspects of vulnerability. So he's not allowing himself to be vulnerable at this point is kind of what I'm seeing. Um, and it resonates a lot with this Two of Swords. The Two of Swords always talks about, you know, a good friendship, a good ally, someone, a good person to be around um, during difficult times. But in reverse, like, I don't know, like, it could be, like, maybe someone who he was close with, he's not close with anymore in regards to his love life. And it makes sense with the Two of Cups also showing up here in reverse, because the Two of Cups all, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to block this with my thumb, because I don't want to get in trouble by YouTube. Um, but the Two of Cups talks about, you know, partnerships. Um, but this card came in reverse, so I feel like, this card, uh, there's like, there could have been like a previous situation in his love life where like they were going great, like a good partnership, a good friend. Um, but like these two cards came in reverse. So I'm not really seeing like that maybe he's really talking to anyone and there's anyone in his love life right now, especially with this vulnerability card showing up in reverse. Like there is a lack of vulnerability here with Chris Evans. He's not allowing himself to kind of let other people in. Um, and that can be the problem sometimes, like from what I've read with like Gemini's is that because Gemini's are very mental and cerebral and thought, thought provoking. Um, it's sometimes it's difficult for Gemini's to kind of get in their feels or let other people in emotionally because they're so much in tune with wanting to connect with people uh, mentally rather than emotionally. So that could, that could be part of the problem. Also, we got the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Normally, the Four of Pentacles talks about, you know, like possessions and holding on to your, your belongings, the things you've worked for. But in reverse, it could talk about like wanting to grasp onto things tightly, like wanting to hold on to things a little bit too tightly. Um, 
So I don't know, like in regards to his love life, I feel like maybe he want he was trying to make things work. Um, and he was holding on to something like for dear life, trying to make things work. But like ultimately with the two of swords here, um, things didn't really work out. You know, the two of cups, like the this whatever like emotional connection he may have had with someone um, has fallen through. And like maybe it didn't really end well um, with that two of cups coming in reverse. Like there's not there aren't any feelings of like emotional connections there or the feelings being returned um so that's what i'm seeing in regards to his love life so let's do a career reading a look, quick little like pulling some cards for his career and then we'll do some advice some overall advice for sir chris evans Let's see. Okay, let's get some cards representing Chris Evans's current career energy. The Eight of Wands again, showing up in reverse. Yeah, there's some delay that happened um, because remember this card showed up in the beginning of his reading. So yeah, something in regards to his career, the Five of Pentacles feeling left out. Um, hmm. Temperance, imbalance, yeah. Hmm. Claustrophobia. In reverse, all of his cards coming up in reverse. Negative, claustrophobia shrinks my world. Here, I'll read this one. Claustrophobia shrinks my world. I feel pressure on all sides. I have no obvious escape route. My potential for growth has been limited. Yeah, potential for growth has been limited. And it's been limited because, like, there's this eight of wands here in reverse. There have been some delays. Like, he was hoping to, like, grow, to improve, to do something in regards to his career. And, like, things stopped. Um, but, like, here, I'm getting the sense that it wasn't just him. Like, with the five of pentacles... Showing up in reverse. Normally, the Five of Pentacles is always talking about feeling left out in the cold, um, stuff like that. But to me, in reverse, this talks about, like, there are some feelings of being left out. Um, but, like, he's not the only one that this happened to. I feel like maybe there was, like, a project here um, that he was working on with people and maybe it just fell through and a lot of people like or maybe they just had to cancel the project so him and a lot of like the people that were working on this project um are feeling left out are feeling like dang like things could have gone well but like unfortunately like with the temperance card here like there's an imbalance here like maybe there was a disconnect maybe like the puzzle pieces weren't connecting uh maybe like things weren't just like coming together as well as they were hoping so they had to delay the process or they had to stop the process but i feel like with this eight of wands in reverse i feel like the process is going to continue again because the eight of wands does talk about like it's just like there's there are just delays um so like maybe it's not going to be like the project isn't going to be like canceled um forever it's just like there's just some delays like there are just they still need to make some more connections um and maybe like with the claustrophobia here coming in reverse like maybe they maybe they felt like they were coming like trying to do things too quickly trying to like connect the pieces a little bit too quickly and they weren't just like they just weren't connecting um as fluidly or as well as people were hoping so they're like you know what maybe let's just give it some time give it some rest and we'll come back to this project later is what i'm seeing and let's do some advice to end the video for chris evans all right let me 
Yo, Chris Evans, I don't know about y'all, but he was like one of my um, crushes growing up. And then I found out his, he's a Gemini, and I'm a Gemini, and I'm like, you know what? It just wouldn't work out. But he, he, he's still nice to look at. Um, but, you know, two Geminis in a relationship, I don't know if anyone is a Gemini with another Gemini. Um, but that's like four, four people in one relationship. I don't know if that would work out for me. Um... Because for me, I feel like I need someone to ground me and be like, yo, Ducky, you're being a little bit too crazy right now. You're being you're doing a little bit too much, you know, someone to bring me down and be a little bit more stable, you know, um, not saying that Gemini's can't be stable. We we could just be a little bit goofy, a little bit silly sometimes. Um, so, all right, let's get some advice for Chris Evans. The Creatrix, the Magician in Reverse, okay. The Fates, the Wheel of Fortune, okay. The Empress in Reverse. foundation yeah so with foundation here remember like this is connecting full circle baby full circle especially with this wheel of fortune you know wheel full circle um remember we got the ace of pentacles in the beginning beginning of his reading representing his current energy meaning his foundation is a little bit shooketh right now he needs to work on like getting grounded again finding like that stability finding a common ground with people because with the magician here in reverse normally the magician is a great creator um a great manifester but in reverse like this can be like a little bit of a manipulative energy and like gemini's get a bad rap for like sometimes being like two-faced or like maybe coming across as like gossipy or like maybe manipulative and his advice for right now is to like i feel like he just needs to really get grounded on this like project that he's wor been working on. I feel like maybe he was trying to like um, convince too many people to like work with him on a project or to do this thing. Um, and he just needs to like really stay grounded, stick, stay connected to like what it is or what is the reason for like why he wanted to start this project um, and not feel like he needs to like talk so much um about this about this endeavor that he's going or working on um i just feel like maybe he was just trying to rally up a lot of people to work on this project with him um and it just became a little bit too crazy a little bit too erratic um and i feel like his advice for right now is to really like stay grounded um with a solid group of people like not try and bring too many people in um to this I, I i'm sorry for like saying the word project so much in this video but like there is something that he's working on um and i feel like maybe in the beginning he was just trying to rally up a lot of people and maybe it was just too many too many too many chefs in the kitchen um especially with the empress card here uh showing up in reverse normally the empress talks about um being fruitful and like having strength in like your feminine energy and stuff like that but in reverse i'm getting the sense that there were too many people like there were he was just talking to too many people about this this and it created like this unstable foundation to work on um so, like, he just needs to get a good, solid group of people that, like, work well with him, like, have brought him, you know, like, great success. Like, they've worked together before, like, successfully. Um, just a small group of group of people um, and, like, really create a solid foundation with them on, in regards to, like, what they are going to work on in regards to this project. Um, so we have unrealistic expectations. We have no clear sense of who we are. So unrealistic expectations is what's sticking out to me, especially with this 
magician and reverse. I really do feel like maybe he was talking so much with other people about like, oh, this is going to be a great project. This is going to be so great, you know, like, and he was setting these unrealistic expectations um, that no one could really meet, um, including him. And so he just needs to kind of figure out what's, what has worked for him in the past, um, bring in people, rally in people that he's worked well with in the past, and really ground himself again and in this endeavor, in this thing that he's working on. Um, because again, like that Eight of Wands came in reverse twice for him. So like there are some delays, but I feel like if he really sets, gets grounded again in regards to this endeavor, this passion that he's working towards it's going to go well for him again with this like wheel of fortune like it seems like it would go well for him he just needs to like not try and rally up too many people and talk so highly of like what this project can be and being unrealistic about it um so that's kind of what i'm seeing for the video um that's it for me thanks so much for watching this video feel free to give me a thumbs up um if you enjoyed the video thumbs down if you did not like the video and if you did not like the video please give me some constructive criticism on what you think maybe i can work on um if you feel you have you have something to um some insight or some perspective to give um and also feel free to let me know what you thought of the video and maybe some suggestions on what videos to add on my to-do list so that's it for me a boy ducky i'm gonna finish watching america's got talent while um either using my elliptical or something um so that's it for me take care have a great rest of your day bye